Well, what, what kind of stands out to you? That, what's the biggest difference between this week and last week? Physical well, or football or whatever? Well, I mean, you know, last week was a scrimmage. We didn't do everything we had planned on doing tonight. We just had some guys that uh, last week we wanted to see what they could do. Uh, we had a couple people out, a couple guys sick. Um, so, you know, we, we put the full plan in force today, and they did an excellent job of executing it. Were you a little surprised how well they executed, especially in the second half? No, no. We've got one of the best coaching staffs in the, in the state of Georgia, if not the country. Um, you know, I, I was glad of the resilience going down into halftime. You know, we get a, give up a big touchdown. You know, the explosive plays got us, but outside of that, they didn't do a whole lot, especially running the football, uh, which is what we pride ourselves in, you know, stopping the run. So kudos to them. That's a great football team over there. They're going to have a great year, but I'm proud of our guys for stepping up, um, overcoming that adversity, especially after halftime. What did you say at halftime? What was the plan, the talk? The Well, we kind of got our plan to win, and I won't get into details of that, about that, but we talked a little bit about that and just playing four quarters, winning the second half, um, being the tougher team, and uh, keep – keep putting the pressure on and that's what we did and you know first of all what does it mean to you the team the program to be able to participate in something like this and to be able to use these facilities and give your kids maybe a look at what college football could be like oh man it's, it's great for our kids to get this exposure you know we can't thank Mercer enough for having this our kids love it you know getting right here in their own backyard and the fans are here and making a great atmosphere so I couldn't be any more happier for our kids um, first win New program. Um, uh, tell me your your personal thoughts about that. Well, we you know we just want to we want to go one and zero, and that's what we did today. So we got a short turnaround. We'll go to tonight. We'll tonight. tonight we'll try to enjoy what little bit we can, and then we'll start the preparing for Pete and try to do the same Conrad thing. We're just going to take it one game at a time. The the schedule doesn't get any easier, so uh, we're going to try to focus on ourselves, fix fix the mistakes Coach we Conrad made, continue to get better. All right, your defense did a good job of bottling up Reagan. Thank you for your all everything back. And tell me, especially your defensive line. Tell me about that. Yeah, we moved around a little bit, like I said. We didn't do a whole lot last week, played a lot of base, um, but we moved around a little bit, tried to confuse the quarterback, got to him a couple times. Would have liked to get him on the ground a little bit more, uh, but we flushed him out of the pocket and we were able to be effective to to force those guys outside of those comfort zones because if you let him sit back there and just throw it, they're they're mighty dangerous. The win aside, what did you like most about what you saw from the football that y'all played? You know, early in the year we had the fumble on the first play of the game. Uh, but early in the year, you just worry a little bit about special teams and things like that. I think I think we did a really good job uh, in the special teams game and even with the turnover, the turnover battle, and then coming back late in the game and having a few explosive plays and then able to get, you know, getting our big set and get tough and, and, and finish the game was, was huge. So that's, that's north side football. That's not new. Um, that's just something we're carrying on. Did you kind of feel like physicality, if y'all were able to be more physical consistently, that was going to be a, a difference? Absolutely. There's no doubt in that. You know, and that's something we pride ourselves in, something we always have. We practice in the afternoon. It's hot. We knew it was going to be hot here. Um, and, you know, it, it turned out good for us. Was there anybody in particular that stood out that maybe you were a little happier to see have a good, have a good stable game? Um, I don't know. You know, naturally seven sticks out because he had two big turnovers. You know, we're trying to put, put pressure on the offense and to get turnovers. Um, we want to be plus two, and I think we were. So, you know, I just remember him having those two turnovers and then some key third downs getting off the field to get our offense back on, on the field to give us some good field position was, was phenomenal. To take away some of the er- errors in the first half, was this overall a better – First game than average, especially considering a, a quality opponent. I mean, I don't know. It depends on what you're comparing it to, but compared to the games that I've seen over the past three days, special teams killed people. Yeah. Um, and we were good in that. We were good in the turnover battle outside of the one. We took care of the football. For the most part, we stayed ahead of the change, and that's what we preach every day, and we were able to do that tonight. 